welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're diving into a puzzling challenge that many JavaScript developers encounter. Our viewer asks, how to compare JavaScript objects obtained by parsing JSON? Let's take a closer look at this intriguing question. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and work through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. When comparing JavaScript objects, it's important to understand that each object is a reference type. This means that two objects are considered equal only if they reference the same instance in memory. In our example, we have two objects created by parsing JSON. Even though they contain the same data, they are different instances. This is why both the equality operator and the strict equality operator return false. To compare the contents of two objects, we can create a function that checks if they have the same keys and values. Let's look at a simple implementation of such a function. Using this function, we can now compare our two objects. If we call objects equal with WTF1 and WTF2, it will return true since their stringified versions are identical. This method works well for simple objects However, for more complex objects or nested structures, you might want to consider using a deep comparison library like Lodash or writing a more robust comparison function. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To compare JavaScript objects from JSON, it's often better to compare them before parsing. This method works only if the objects are identical, including the order of properties. Here's an example. Two objects with the same properties will compare as false directly, but true when stringified. However, if the order of properties differs, they will still compare as false. In another case, even if two objects have the same properties, but in a different order, they will compare as false both directly and when stringified. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To compare JavaScript objects parsed from JSON, you can't directly compare them since they are different instances. Instead, you should iterate over each property and check for equality, including recursively checking if the properties are objects. Here's a function that demonstrates this approach. It first checks if all keys in the second object exist in the first. Then it compares each key's value, handling nested objects recursively. For more details, you can check out the full code example linked in the description. This method ensures a thorough comparison of complex objects. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To 
compare JavaScript objects parsed from JSON, you can use the Lodash library. Simply call the isEqual function with your two objects. Another approach is to convert both objects to JSON strings and compare them directly. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To compare JavaScript objects parsed from JSON, we focus on their structure, specifically the keys, rather than the values. This method works for any hierarchy. The function checks if both inputs are empty, then parses them if they are not objects. It compares their types and keys recursively. For example, given a response and a model, the function will return true or false based on whether their structures match. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. In JavaScript, two objects with the same properties are never considered equal. To compare them, you can convert the objects to strings using json.stringify and then compare those strings. Alternatively, you can iterate over all properties, but keep in mind that deep comparisons can be quite complex. And that's it. I hope this video has helped you get through to that resolution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. And until next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers. Cheers.